Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 4, Nuclear Power and Novels. We're going to focus on everyday English. Today's topic is Persuasion. So get ready and let's study together. Everyday English Persuasion Read and listen to the following conversation. Why don't you get a decent job for a change? But I like my job. Look, gardening isn't a job for a university graduate. But the money's not bad and there's plenty of fresh air. If I were you, I'd go on some kind of course. Teaching, accountancy. Accountancy? Anything but that. It's too boring. Come on. You really must think of the future. Why don't you just write a few application forms? I'll try, dear. Good luck. Note. When persuading others, we use these phrases and expressions. Why don't you? I think you should. My advice would be... I'm sure you ought to. If I were you, I'd. Don't you think it would be better if... If you did that, then you would be able to. If you don't do it, you won't be able to. هذول التعابير لازم نحفظهم. Question B. With your partner, make a short dialogue about one of these situations using appropriate expressions from the box. You're in London. You're on the telephone to your head office. You have 30 seconds to persuade them to let you stay for another week. Hello, sir. We experienced an emergency that prevented us from working. I think you should let me stay in London for another week. The project requires more work than anticipated, and I'm the only person who could do it. Why don't you give me just one more week? I'll make you really proud. You have invited an English friend to visit you in your country, but he's decided to go somewhere else instead. Try to make him change his mind. If I were you, I wouldn't miss the chance to see this country. It is more beautiful and exciting than any other place. You'll never regret it, I promise. You've got tickets for a play. At the last moment, your sister says she has a headache and can't come. How can you persuade her? Come on. Why don't you take a painkiller? If I were you, I wouldn't miss such a nice play. 
Give it a shot, for my sake. Now let's move on to the activity book, page 34. Question A. Complete the dialogue with suitable clauses from the box. Come on, there is nothing to lose. David, you'd really be helping me out. How would you feel about presenting the marketing award ceremony with me? Look, I wouldn't usually ask, but you're the only person who could do it. Why don't you give it a go? You're a great speaker and funny. I think you'd be brilliant at it. Now let's see the conversation. Hey David, have you got a minute? I've got a small favour to ask you. OK. How would you feel about presenting the marketing award ceremony with me? Presenting? I've never done anything like that before. David, you'd really be helping me out? Oh, I don't know. You're a great speaker and funny. I think you would be brilliant at it. Ugh. But what if I make a bad joke? Look. I wouldn't usually ask, but you're the only person who could do it. Why don't you give it a go? Hmm. Come on, there is nothing to lose. That's everything for today. Thanks for your time. See you next lesson.